Hi guys, welcome to part two of episode 46. We are back here in the Dreamer household. It's 6 a.m. on Thursday morning. Brandy's gonna be giving birth to the baby in about six hours. I am super excited. So is Darren, he's really excited over here. He's farting hearts over his lovely wife and checking out this picture. He loves looking at this picture. So I assume these are some old friends, maybe some people he went to college with. He likes to look at that picture and reminisce. Um, let's see what everybody is up to this morning. Brandy is asleep. She is very, very tired. Um, Darren wants to get a body skill point, and that would be really good for him because then he could get promoted. And um, so he's going to work on that today. I'm actually going to send him downstairs to the TV now, and he can work out down there. Nobody else is down there but Simmy. David is getting overheated jumping on the bed stop that turn off the radio I can't hear anything I can't hear myself think with that radio on he needs to get downstairs and have some breakfast and he did not do his homework and he's not gonna have time to do it now we're still working on that a plus report card for David Bobby still wants to make out with three different sims Okay, you just did you just turn that radio back on? Turn that off. They are obsessed with this thing. So I'm just going to get the boys ready for school and send them out. Darren's going to work on his body skill. And we're going to wait for Brandy to give birth. Okay, it is 12 o'clock and Brandy is going into labor. I am so, so, so excited. Please let Brandy have the little girl that she wants. Oh, look, Kaylin came running in. She heard Brandy screaming. She's like, what's going on? Brandy's giving birth in the living room floor. <laughs> and she had a fear to have a baby. So she wanted and she feared it. So that's going to completely nullify the effects. Negative 5,000. Because she's like, what? She's 57 years old. <gasps> it's a little girl, you guys! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. It's a little girl. Oh, she's precious. Okay, we are going to name her Daisy. Because I want to keep with the D names for Darren's children. So, this is Daisy Dreamer. Oh, she's precious. She has the same skin as Brandy, the same skin tone. And like her other child with Darren David who looks like Darren with his darker skin, and she, but she's got the dark blue eyes um, of Darren. Oh, she's going to be so cute. I'm so happy to have a little, uh, a little baby Brandy. A little Brandy baby. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. A little girl. That's what I'm happy about, having a little girl. So now Brandy wants to have 10 children. That is not going to happen, Brandy. I'm so sorry, but you're 57 years old, so you're not going to be having any more babies. Check it out. She wants to get a job. Well, I'll lock that in for her. Or maybe not. I'll unlock it because I kind of wanted her to work on her flower arranging career. And before she had the baby, she had a want to get a silver flower arranging badge. But maybe she's changed her mind now that the baby is born. Um, she's like, I did want to work on flower arranging, but I'm just not making any money at that. And, and now she's worried about money now that the baby's actually here in her arms. And she's thinking, I need to get a new, a real job. So maybe we'll, if that's what she wants to do, that's how she's feeling. So she's going to get herself a real job doing something. Maybe back in the culinary field. We'll see what's available. Bobby is home now and he's doing terribly in school. But it doesn't matter because... He is either going to age up today or go to college, and it does not look like he's going to be going to college. <laughs> he wants to grow up well, and he wants to make out with three different sims. He has plenty of time to do that. I'm going to unlock it and just leave everything free and clear so that he has the ability to think about if he wants to go to college or not. He has about four hours to decide. If not, he's going to be aging up to an adult, and he's going to go move out on his own. In the meantime, while we're waiting on him, um, we need to fix up a nursery for little Daisy. Now, what I want to do is I want to make David's room the nursery, and I want to move David down here into uh, Bobby.
Bobby's room when Bobby moves out. But we'll have to wait until tonight for that to happen. For now, I'm just going to throw a crib up here. Just so we have somewhere to put little Daisy. And then we'll move everybody around after Bobby moves out. I'm just going to put it right here against the wall. Hopefully that doesn't block the way of the stairs. Well, it's 2 p.m. and Bobby is very upset about this D report card. He keeps crying about it and he just keeps rolling once to go on a date and make out. I think we're going to let him go on one more date then before he either ages up or goes to college. Maybe he'll, it'll get him in a better mood and maybe he'll roll some wants. Maybe he'll roll the want to go to college. Um, if not, his life is going to be pretty bad because he's going to have a D plus as his final high school grade. And that means he'll only be able to make it to level three in any career path. That's as high as he'll be able to go. So things aren't looking great for Bobby if he doesn't go to college. He's probably not ever going to be wealthy. But he'll have lots of ladies. So let's see who we're going to send him on a date with. Um, he's already gone out with Rosemary. Of course he's in love with Eva. Um, the only other option he really has is Crystal Jacobs. So I guess we can call her. She might be at work. She might not be available, but he's going to call and try. Oops, I didn't mean to cancel that out. Ask on a date. Aw, oh, Brandy's bringing little baby Daisy down to get her a bottle. Look at the smile on Brandy's face. She is so happy to have this little girl. Okay, let's call Crystal. He's not even friends with her, so I don't know how she's going to react to his calling her up and asking her, but he's going to try it. She didn't say no because he had a fear. Um, well, let's go to a community live. Alright. Alright, Bobby has arrived. He decided to take Crystal to Interactive, the local teen hangout. Sherry Richard. I've never seen her before. Hmm, she's cute. Wait, let me look at you, Sherry. She is very cute. I don't know where she came from. Anyway, um, he brought Crystal down to Interactive. I'm really hoping that neither of his other girlfriends show up. Because if either Eva or Rosemary show up, things are going to go bad. I really don't care that much about Rosemary. It would be nice for him to keep the love, though. But I just don't want Eva to catch him. But he couldn't go far because he does have to go either go to college or move out today. He can't be going downtown. He's just going to go on a quick date down the street. So let's take a look. So Crystal doesn't have a want either. And it makes me think that they do, these Sims who don't have the wants, they're the ones that I aged up with my other sims to teens so I'm thinking that they just don't have an aspiration yet because that's a bug that happens sometimes and that's why they have no aspirations so they have no wants uh, so I don't know what she wants so we're just gonna do whatever Bobby wants he of course the first thing they always want to do is tell a dirty joke but he can't even tell her a dirty joke he just has to tell her a regular joke out in the middle of the street let's gossip let's see what he has to say He's gossiping about Kaylin Langerak. Oh my gosh, about how she caught Don cheating because he was he was out with Don whenever he saw that happen. That's so funny. He wants to tell her a dirty joke. She liked it. Unlike Rosemary, who did not like his dirty jokes. Slow dance and dance. Okay, well I guess it's time to go in and dance. All right, they're going to... Oh, no, he just tried to kiss her, and she was like, get off me. Ugh. She did not like that. That's going to hurt. Oh, no, they're not even friends anymore. She was so offended by his attempt to kiss her. Oh, my gosh, Crystal, you should be so lucky. You are not that cute. You're lucky Bobby's going out with you. <laughs> so he's got to try all over again. He's got to try to build that back up. Maybe you shouldn't try to flirt with her right away. Let's give her some smooth talk. Oh, he doesn't have his... Ah, oh, crap, and I can't give him his aspiration rewards. I forgot to give him his aspiration rewards. <sighs> okay, well, he's just going to have to start all over again then and tell her a dirty joke. Okay, he flirted with her, and she was okay with that. She just wasn't ready for the kiss. She was not ready. Um, let's do a little hug. Let's we'll see if she accepts that. All right, she's taking the hug. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, let's try a peck. Maybe he he tra he came on too strong with a romantic kiss. All right, mm. she took the peck. Okay, now they have a kiss a crush on each other. So let's try to mo step this up and do a romantic mm. kiss. I keep zooming out because I'm trying to look for Bobby's other lovers and make sure they're not, or not lovers, but girlfriends and make sure nobody's coming down the sidewalk. <laughs> I'm trying to look out for him. Okay, well, Bobby and Crystal have been making out and flirting and telling dirty jokes to each other. Oh, look, they just became best friends. And now they are having a dream date. He did have the want to have a dream date with her, but now it's gone. Well, there's not much point in staying here any longer now that they've reached dream date status. Bobby's going to go ahead and end the date with Crystal so he can get back home and start getting ready for his age up. He still has not rolled the want to go to college at all, so I don't think he wants to go. He still has a little bit of time once we get him back home. And we'll see if he wants to go or not. He might be our second Sim who does not go to college. The first one was Deborah. Well, it's 4.15 p.m. and Bobby shows no signs of wanting to go to college. He just wants to grow up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and throw a birthday party for him. And we're going to invite all of the other Sims from his generation. He's going to age up to age 18. And he's going to be staying in Pleasant View and not joining the other Sims in college. I don't know how Eva's going to feel about that. I don't know if she's going to leave him behind um, and meet some new guys at college when he's not around. I think that is highly likely, knowing Eva. Oh no, Crystal's coming to drop off the flowers. Alright, she needs to hurry up and get out of here. So, Bo and Ivan came. That was it. Those are the only two people who showed up. Oh, you know what? I bet... Uh, Eva doesn't have a job, though. She really should have showed up for this. So we're going to teleport her over. So Eva came, Bo came, and Ivan Pleasant came. He's not even friends with Ivan. He has zero relationship, and Ivan's like, sure, I'm up for it. I'll come. Uh, Kevin and uh, Fabian did not want to come. They don't really care for Bobby that much. Uh, Gia should have come, though, unless she's at work. She's probably at work. Oh no, she moved to college, didn't she? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna teleport her over. He's not friends with her, but since Ivan came and Eva came, I feel like she would have come too. Okay. Oh look, he's holding his little sister. Oh, that's precious. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, it's five o'clock, so before time gets away from me, we need to buy the birthday cake. And we need to get this show on the road. Wow, David was just invited to the My Muse Music and Dance Studio. He already has a lot of enthusiasm in music and dance. Let's check it out really quick. Oh no. Oh, he's, he's upset because Bobby got a D. Bobby got a D a lot. <laughs> He's upset about it. You don't have to be upset about Bobby's grades, David. You poor sweet little thing. Yeah, look at that. Look at that enthusiasm. He has got quite a bit. So we'll probably get him into music or maybe the dance career. I could definitely see him being in the dance career. Um, but maybe he'll be a musician. We'll just have to wait and see what he wants to do. Okay, Bobby's coming down to blow out his candles. Come on, everybody, gather around. Bobby is turning into an adult. That's all he wants to do is grow up well, which he it looks like he's going to do. Besides his bad grades, he had a really good uh, time as a teenager. He's got some acne going on, so that's going to go away. Okay, it's 6 p.m., so I hope that the ca uh, cake worked. All 
All right, there he is. Bobby is a young adult, or he's an adult, actually. He's an 18-year-old adult. Look how handsome he is. Oh, my gosh. He's just gorgeous. So I want to uh, age up one of these Sims with him, and I think I'm going to age up Crystal because he's not quite in love with her yet, so they can kind of continue their relationship um, as adults. So we're going to age up Crystal Jacobs. So Bobby is now 18 years old. Brandy is 58. Uh, Darren is 66. David is 11. And little Daisy is 1. So tomorrow at 6 p.m., um, let's see, David and Daisy will be aging up. Oh, he's sad because he didn't go to college. I forgot to get that mod where they don't get sad. And look at Bobby. He looks really cute. Like, I'm going to let him keep that outfit. Where did you go? Where did you go? Hey, Brandy, is Bobby available to talk? Um, not right now. He's in the middle of his birthday party. Oh, let's get this out of the way, too. So he said he didn't go to college, but that was the choice he made. He can regret it now if he wants, but that's what he did. Um, I think this really, this outfit really looks like him. He's got some jeans, some chucks on, and a hoodie. He's looking right at me while I'm talking to him. That was pretty weird. While I'm talking about him. He's getting a phone call. Who is calling? Oh my gosh, it's Rosemary. Rosemary, you're too young for him now. So then in two days, we will have Brandy's elder birthday party. Is Bobby available to talk? No, why is everybody calling for Bobby? No, leave him alone. He's highly desirable now. No, he can't go downtown right now. Jeez. I mean, he's had like three phone calls right in a row. I think he's going to be Pleasant View's most eligible bachelor now. No, he's going to stay here. He's right in the middle of his party. And he need, probably needs to talk to Eva. He can't flirt with her now because she's still technici technically a teen. Oh, no. 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 Oh, my gosh. Look who just showed up. <laughs> oh, no. Bobby. This is going to be bad, you guys. Rosemary just showed up. She just came walking out here while Bobby and Eva were hugging, and I think she's not going to be happy about this. And I think things are about to go south for Bobby, so let's watch and see. No! She went to talk to Eva! She just started talking to Eva about makeup. Okay, well, let's just hope that she doesn't um, approach Bobby. <laughs> oh, that's right. She's still a teen. Never mind. She's still a teen, so nothing can come of this. <laughs> they can't flirt with each other, so Eva's never going to know. That's good, because I was really worried about that. Who is that over there? Is that Crystal? I thought I aged Crystal up. Why is she still in the same outfit? I'm not sure if she aged up or not. I thought she did, but I don't know. Both of all three of his women are here. Let me guess. This is another girl calling for him. No, it's Kevin Burb is calling to talk to him. Wow. They're almost friends, actually. Well, now would be a good time for us to think about Bobby's um, lifetime want. Since he didn't go to college, he's 18 now, and his lifetime want is to become a rock god, but he does not that doesn't fit him at all. He does have a lot of creativity, um, but he's more interested in art than he is in music. He's really interested in culture, entertainment, fashion. He's definitely more interested in art than music, so that's not going to work. We are going to change that. He still thinks Eva's hot. He just can't do any flirts with her. Uh, we're going to change his lifetime one. 
Well, I rolled um, to become visionary, and I don't think he's ever going to get to the level of visionary. Well, he's definitely not unless he just got chance card after chance card. But he can go up to level three in the artist career, and that would at least give him something to pursue. So we're going to let him keep that as, as his lifetime want, and he's going to continue to pursue painting. He might not ever be able to make a living. Uh, you know, he might not ever be able to get rich in a standard kind of job, a normal kind of job. But he could be an artist, you know. He's going down a different path. He's not going down the 9 to 5 job, 2.5 kids, picket fence path. He's, he's taking things differently. He's probably not going to get married because he's a romance sim. He's not going to college, and instead he's just going to uh, live on his own and do his art and have lots of women. Okay, the party is a real dud because the uh, cake didn't work out. And he really needs to talk to more of his guests, too. Well, this party was a real dud, and next time pay more attention to your guest. <laughs> it wasn't very fun at all. <laughs> they went outside, they played water balloon, they had a water balloon fight, and they talked for a while, and that was pretty much it. They didn't get any cake, so everybody was pretty upset about that. So now we're going to take care of everybody's needs, and we're going to get the baby off the floor. <laughs> I'm going to send everybody to bed, and first thing in the morning, Bobby is going to be moving out on his own. It's time for him to go because we need the room in the house for the new baby. And he's going to probably be, he has no money, so he's going to have to move into the flop house while he tries to earn a living. Well, it's Friday morning at 6 a.m., um, Bobby is getting all packed up and ready to go. He fed a bottle to his little sister, which was so sweet. He's helping his mom this morning, and he's going to get all ready to go. We're going to pack up all of his stuff into his inventory, so at least he has something to take with him. All this stuff is his to keep. Uh, Darren and Brandy are giving this stuff to him. So he won't have to buy any furniture in the flop house at least. Uh, but he's only going to have probably enough to rent a room and that's about it. He's going to have to get a job pretty much immediately or at least paint some paintings if he doesn't want to get a job. He's got his easel and all his painting supplies. With him so he will be able to make some money. Alright, Brandy's running down to say goodbye. And Bobby is out of the house. Uh, Dave, here comes David and Darren to say goodbye. And there he goes. There he goes. Bobby is out in the world as an adult. Now we have this room to spare down here, so we're going to move all of David's stuff down into this room and move Daisy upstairs. So I'll be right back when I finish that. Okay, I finished moving David downstairs into Bobby's old room. I just moved all his stuff down here. I didn't buy him anything new. And then we didn't have enough money to buy anything else. I was just able to move the crib in here into, into Daisy's room. And we'll have to get her baby stuff. Hopefully after Darren goes to work today, he will get promoted. Uh, oh my gosh, he's not doing well. I have been neglecting poor Darren because I've been focusing on the kids. He needs to go to the bathroom, take a shower. Their house is filthy and everybody's upset. Brandy, start cleaning the stuff up. <laughs> the house is filthy, the yard is a mess. Hopefully the gardener comes today. And Brandy's also going to look for a job. After she finishes cleaning up, we'll have her look on the computer and see what we can find for her. Well, the only job in the paper today or in on the computer today that I feel like Brandy would be able to do is law enforcement um, as a security guard. It pays 336 million a day, which is almost three times what Darren makes um, in his job. And he has a full-time job too. He doesn't even have an elder job. So she's gonna take it for now. She's gonna work as a security guard. She won't start until tomorrow. She's going to have to call a nanny, which is too bad. We're going to call a nanny now, 
and hire her for Brandy's schedule so we don't forget. Okay, and maybe now on. the Dreamers will start earning a little bit of money. They have made it. They've been fine. But it's, things have been tight. Well, David's home from school and he brought a little friend home. It's a little child townie I've never seen before named Michael Price. I don't know where he came from. But he's here to play with David. David did not get that A-plus report card, and he's not going to because today is David's 12th birthday, so he's going to be aging up to a teen. We tried. It is also little Daisy's birthday today. She's going to age up to a toddler, and I want to see both birthdays. I don't want them to happen both at the same time, so I'm going to try to turn her aging off and see if we can keep her a baby until after uh, David ages up to a teen and then age her up. I'm gonna try. Last time I tried it, it didn't work. We're gonna try our best to be able to see both age ups. Yes, Darren got promoted. And he brought a friend home from work, James Howard. Darren's been promoted to Spelunker level two. Thank you so much for suggesting the mod that puts the level numbers on there, that is awesome. Um, you're fearless as you explore the deepest caves throughout the world. Your co-workers hold their breath every time you attempt another dangerous expedition. Now, he brought home 228 simoleons and a bonus of 570. That was really helpful. Now they have like 1,100 simoleons so they can get all the baby stuff they need. But now it's 415 and we need to throw a party. Go answer the phone. Is David available to talk? That's Tabitha. Um, no, but he'll call you back because we're about to throw this birthday party. Okay, Darren invited some family members and then I teleported over Tabitha and Vincent. Um, because they are in the same generation as David. So is Rosa, but she might not show up. Let's see. Uh, Dirk and Bo showed up, so that's nice. Rosa didn't show up, so I'm going to teleport her over. Okay, now everybody's here. We can buy the birthday cake. And we'll go ahead and let David age up now. Alright, here goes David's uh, birthday. He's going to turn into a teen. I can't wait to see how cute he's going to look. And if he looks like his brother, his brother Dirk. Darren is so proud of his youngest son. And here comes Brandy. This is also Brandy's youngest son. Alright, everybody's here. And he's definitely going to make it. We have plenty of time. It's only 520. and then we'll have a better look at him. David is a Libra, which makes him a romance sim. He's one of our many romance sims that was born this generation. Um, his turn-ons are great cook, and we are not going to let him keep plant sim. I'm going to roll for a hair color for him. So I'm going to roll between one and four. And I rolled a three, so he likes brown hair and great cook, and he doesn't like accessories on his women. He likes them nice and plain. And do we want to age up anybody else with him? Um, well, I don't want to age up Orlando yet. I guess we could age up this Michael Price. Um, but I actually think we have more teens than children, so I don't think I'm... And he's not friends with either of them, so I'm not going to age anybody up with him. Alright, let's look at him. He achieved the aspiration level of gifted kid. Wow, he is quite handsome. He got those little brows, those little thin brows of Brandy's. 
I'm looking at Brandy's little tiny head next to his <laughs> so I can compare them. He really does look a lot like her in this area. He did not get Darren's nose, I don't think. he. I think he got Brandy's nose. I don't know, maybe Darren's. Sounds like a mixture of the two. It's hard to tell. But there he is. I like his outfit, too. I think he's going to just stick with that outfit. He's got some nice distressed jeans, shoes, and a t-shirt, a layered t-shirt. So his favorite color has changed to green as a teenager, so we'll have to remake his room. Let's get let him get on with the birthday party first. Look, he wants to go to college and earn the extraterrestrial reparations grant. That's a weird thing for a romance sim to want to do. Okay, so it's telling us that Daisy's birthday is only a day away, but actually it's now. I'm going to turn her aging back on, and then we are going to age her up. All right, Brandy went to get Daisy, and she is going to age her up now. And there she is. She's got the same haircut that my last toddler had. Let's look at her. She also looks a lot like Brandy and Bobby. Oh, look at that little face. Oh, my gosh, it's cute. So cute. <laughs> all right so there's our little daisy as a toddler let's check out her personality i'm very excited to see this and i just noticed that brandy rolled the wand to have another baby brandy are you out of your mind you are 59 years old <laughs> she's not gonna have another baby that is just not gonna happen that is physically impossible for you at this point Okay, so cross your fingers that we didn't get a romance sim, guys. We don't need any more romance sims right now. We got an Aquarius. And that is so awesome because Aquarius is a family sim in my game, and we definitely need more family sims. I had, think in our current generations of children, we only have like one family sim. So that's awesome. She's going to be a family just like Brandy. She's going to want to have a big family just like her mom. Um, let's see here. She's a little more on the outgoing side. She's sloppy like Brandy is. She's pretty active, um, playful, and nice. She's pretty even. Um, she's more active than anything else, but she is very sloppy. We don't know her hobby, her interests, her little toddler interests, our animals, sci-fi, and toys. So cute. And that reminds me, I want to look at uh, David's interests as well. Now that he, What is he doing? Look at that face. <laughs> I guess he's telling a funny joke about aliens. That face, though. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so he's interested in entertainment, culture. Oh, we already looked at these, didn't we? I don't know if it changed much. Sci-fi, weather, work. Okay. Can work with that. <laughs> Tabitha is also a romance sim, and they're in the same generation, but unfortunately they are related, so there can be no relationship there. A lot of relations going on in the Pleasant View world. A lot of people are related to each other. <laughs> Everybody is having a really good time at David and Daisy's birthday party. Uh, Daisy is asleep now. She couldn't make it up this late. But everybody's having a great time. Oh, look at Tabitha and uh, Vincent are playing Miss Mary Mac. So uh, David rolled the want to get a cell phone for his birthday gift. So we're going to let him get it. That is his gift from Brandy and Darren. And he also wants to have his very first kiss. So we will probably, tomorrow is Saturday, so it'll be a great day for him to go out to Interactive and meet some more teens and try to ha meet somebody that he has some chemistry with. Um, his final party score is a good time. It went really well. Now that everybody's going home, uh, Brandy and Darren are going to get the house straightened up. Everybody's going to go to bed. And then tomorrow is going to be Brandy's birthday party. And also we're going to send David out to meet some townie girls. 
But I'm going to go ahead and end part two of this episode here. Um, as I was editing this, this episode was just getting so long that I decided to break this into three parts. So there will be one more additional part for this round for the Dreamer family. Um, we just have so much going on in this household that it really needed three parts to make it manageable. Um, I do appre I do apologize for the fast forwarding and whatnot that's going on in the video here, but I didn't originally plan for this to be part of the video. But <laughs> since I've decided to make this into three parts, I needed something to voice over for the ending. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, or hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in any of the mods I use, or if you want to read my gameplay rules for Pleasant View. You can also find me on Twitter at Pleasant Sims. I have been using Twitter more frequently to share status updates on my videos, my live streams, and to share screenshots and things from the game. So please feel free to follow me on Twitter if you're on Twitter. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys with part three of this episode very soon.